What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about automating the tempo. Now, your first thought might be to use automation and you'd be correct in that, but um, one problem with the, the current automation, and this is as of FL Studio version 7, I don't know if FL Studio 8 handles this differently, but one problem is when you go to the tempo and you decide you want to create an automation clip, um, and what this would normally do is this would allow you to take your automation, in other words, your tempo, and then basically draw and make it, um, you know, go up or down or whatever, right? Um, and you would think, okay, well, that's great. It's going to go from 96 to whatever I want. Well, the problem is if you look up here in the information bar right there, as I hover over where these nodes are, uh, it gives you a percentage. It doesn't give you an actual tempo. So it makes it pretty difficult to use it just like this and set your tempo to exactly what you want it to be. But there's um, a way we can get around that, and I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, the way you'll do that is you'll basically go to uh, your your tempo, but instead of creating an automation clip, you're going to select Edit Events. And that's going to bring up the Event Editor window. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the very beginning of this Event Editor, and you're going to see, if you look up here in this information area, as I move through the window here, you can see I actually see a valid BPM number. Now, you don't get the fine-tuning in this mode, but most people don't need that anyway. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one to 96. Okay, um, That's what I want my song to start at, so I'm going to set it to 96. And the way I do that as I go over here, I want to make sure I have, let's say, the pencil tool selected, okay? And I want my snap to be the line. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to find 96 at the far um, left of this event editor window, right near where the edge is, and I'm just going to click right there at 96. If you look up at the event area up here, you could have you would have seen that it was saying I was at 96 when I clicked the button and it's drawn a 96 event uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, this menu button here and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to say turn into automation clip okay now what this has done it's kind of hard to see I know but it's created these tiny little automation clips at the beginning of each uh, of each bar uh, and that's because I'm in pattern one. If I was in pattern two, it, it would have reacted differently. But basically, we can get rid of these guys. We don't need those. We only need the first one, which is if I zoom in all the way, you're still only going to barely see it. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tool to drag it out. Now, you don't see the automation here because it's just this one little node right there. Okay, But that's enough to set it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there, and uh, just kind of as a marker to say that's where my 96 is going to happen. Okay, right there. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to play 96, and then at bar number three, let's say I wanted to play at 200. So I'm gonna go back to my event editor, edit events, and then I'm gonna find 200 now. If I'm looking at my info window, I can see 149, 150 is up here at the top. So I'm going to have to use my scroll bar to scroll up a little bit until I can see where 200 is. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the very edge and find 200. If you look at the info window, it says 200. I'm going to click my mouse button. It's going to draw in my events. And then I'm going to create an automation clip out of this. Edit, turn into automation clip. When I go back to my song here, um, it's put the automation clip in several times for me. I'm going to right click up here on the red area, which is going to remove it. And let me zoom in again. By zooming in, uh, I can 
drag it and make it a little bigger. It's easier to grab the handle there and drag it over. Okay, so there's my 200. Now, you can see that they don't look very different from each other. Um, I mean, when you hover over them, there's these little nodes in there. This one happens to be at 9%. This one over here happens to be at 19%. So there's really no way I could have done that math in my head to figure out uh, which was which, or, you know, which was 96 BPM and which was 200. But using the event editor, I was able to do that. So now when I play this back, and I'm going to go into song mode, you can keep an eye over here on the tempo, and you see it's set at 200, but it, it should reset back to 96, and then play for two bars, and then instantly go to 200, and play for two bars. So let's see if that's what happens. And you can see that's exactly what happened. Okay, so that's the way you would, that's one way that you would just change the tempo instantly. Okay, I, I would recommend that you you make two automation clips, one for each tempo or more depending on how many times you want to change but let's say you wanted to change gradually from uh, 96 up to 200 so I wanted 200 let's say to end up over here and then over two bars I want to gradually go from 96 to 200 okay so the way I would do that is again go into the event editor for the tempo and now I want to make sure that I can see both 96 and 200 in this window and I might need to scroll up a couple times and 96 is down here towards the bottom and remember I'm working on a very small screen to make it easy for for you guys to see what's going on uh, normally I would be at a much higher resolution than this um, and I wouldn't need to tweak this part so much but 96 is about right there what's up here 200 is definitely up in this area so now I want to make sure I have two full bars on the screen. So there's one and two. So right here where the three is where the second bar ends. So I'm going to find 200 over here just to the left of the of the line where it says three. And as I stop right there, if you look at my info bar, you'll see it says 200. Now this time what I'm going to do is instead of just a regular um, left click, I'm going to do a right click. And then I'm going to hold it down. What that's going to do for me is it's going to draw my events in a straight line. See that? As I move over, it draws it in a straight line. Then I'm going to find 96 down here somewhere and make sure that I end up just over to the, um, to the right of the, of the edge here. So that's 99, 97, 96 right there. And I move it over, and that's where I end up. Now, if you go too far, uh, notice what's going to happen. Up in the info window, it says 96. But if I scroll out of the window, so now my mouse is just to the left of the window boundary, and I move up, you can see the, the automation continues to draw. But my value up in the info window still says 96, which is incorrect. So you have to make sure that where you end up is just inside the boundary. Let me get back in here, find uh, 96 again, and make sure I'm, I'm just to the right of that edge, which is right there. Okay, now I'm going to let go of the mouse button. I, I was holding the mouse button that whole time, and it's drawn a nice straight line going from 96 up to 200. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing, edit, create automate, or turn into automation clip, Go back to my uh, workspace here, and you can see what it's done. It's it's basically done that for me. I'm going to remove some of these extra ones, and there you can see the nice straight line going from 96 or 9 percent up to 200 or about 19 percent. Okay, and then I could even move this up here if I wanted to, and you could put all these on the same line but that's up to you you know that's however you need to lay it out okay so now what we should see when I hit play is it's gonna start at 96 play for one bar then over the course of the next two bars it's gonna gradually move up until it hits 200 then it's gonna play at 200 for the fourth bar at which time it's gonna repeat and go back to 96 so watch the tempo here if you need to 
um, and you'll see exactly uh, what's going to happen. And there you go. Really easy. Um, again, if anyone knows of a better way of doing this uh, with that precision, uh, please come to warbeats.com, go to the forums and post it there so that, uh, you know, we all can learn. It's a good community there. I urge anyone watching this video to go to warbeats.com and, and check it out. Um, and that's all for this tutorial. This is NFX saying I'll see you guys in the next one.